Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Turns out Damien Gant I is also Batman. <laughs> Damien Gant! You better watch out, criminals of Gotham. I'm gonna come down there and kick your ass, my spike of hair. Wham, pow, poke! And now back to yelling at people! Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we faced the wrath of freaking Damon Gant. God damn it, dude, that guy is scary as fuck. He's sneaking into his office. I just like, I'm like, God, he's gonna come out here and he's gonna, he's gonna murder me and then hide my, and then hide the evidence and, and frame somebody else for murder. <laughs> oh god. And now, the final day, and it's his trial former, so I guess this is gonna be split into two parts as well. But at least I know this is it. The moment of freaking truth and justice. All right, let's do this. I'm taking you down, Damon Gant. All right, 25th, I am 47 a.m. Just record defendant lobby number two. This is defendant lobby, all right, but there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lane all morning. Where could she be? Where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if... Uh... Something's been happening behind the scenes, I'm gonna guess... Damn it! <laughs> Edgeworth, you sounded awfully feminine there for a second. Oh, sorry about that. I had a little something in my throat there. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm good now. Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 77777 ID number is? Well, I have a pretty st strong hunch. Yeah, 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 it's me, Evil Damon Gant. Looks like I'm not the only one who's, who's figured it out. You know the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday? is because there, there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. I wonder, I've got a feeling I'm gonna probably get Edward's help this one. Just cause, I mean, come on, Ace. I think Damon Gant's been sort of fucking up, fucking up Edgeworth's, <laughs> Edgeworth's life too, so I'm pretty sure he would probably would love to see Damon Gant out of the picture. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from the list, I can, I can call for a ruling on the defendant. Five minutes after the trial starts, Elena will be found guilty. But you didn't do it, you bastard! I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. It's the first time he's ever done something like this. Uh, like this. Alright, time's up. <laughs> Damn it! Elena's hiding something. The only way we'll ever know, know the truth, is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. Come on, we totally did that in, your la in the last case. Remember where I saved your ass? Whatever, fuck that shit. I'm Edgeworth, I do what I want, bitch. It depends on you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she found guilty, you lo lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. <laughs> I've thought about it. Nope. <laughs> so you in court, right? Edgeworth, my arch nemesis. Stop calling me that. <laughs> Zit. If I'm ever going to find find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now, now. I just I just steal the wrath of God in her, and by God I mean me, damn it, Gant. <laughs> All right, twenty fans, and I am just recording number 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 five. Don. Shut the fuck up, everybody! The court in session. God damn! Why does everybody start talking when I, I haven't even done anything yet? I don't understand. Can anyone explain to me? Oh, now everybody's quiet. Oh no, oh, yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna lay down my freaking gavel of justice here. Just get y'all to shut the fucking hell up. Damn it. Anyway, court down a session for Miss Leia Sky. The bitch is ready, Your Honor. Holy shit. Oh, how many times I told you not to yell in my ear? Jesus Christ. Sorry, Your Honor. Oh, God, stop. Prosecution's ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh? Before that, police chief has a proposal to me. Oh, fuck. Chief Gant! Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like rise up from the podium there. Behold my brilliance, bitches! <laughs> Morning, folks. Everybody's been doing. Hey, Uzi. Hey, been back to the pool yet? Stop. No. No. Stop asking me that. Oh, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. <laughs> but seriously, now. 
you don't mind me asking, Chief, what exactly is this proposal of yours? I'm just gonna stand here for like five minutes. <laughs> Leia, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? No! Damn it, Lena. She's gonna do something stupid. Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. <laughs> you know, not going to point pointing any fingers at any chief judge, any chief of police or anything. Uh, with sexy sunglasses and pointy hair. And with a serious rage problem, so don't fuck with me. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one some more request and I'll be finished. Roland, what's your request? The turkey sandwich? Because I don't have one. Thanks for that fucker. I swear to God. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, five minutes. Way to go, Judge. Way to go. Five minutes. I No, that's not a new record. I'm pretty sure you've gone longer than that. You're getting worse. So I've got a problem. All right, I got it. We admit it. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't ever forget my freaking. I swear to God. Don't make me go on a rampage again. Your Honor, I'd like to you to put an immediate end to the trial. <gasps> no! I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodwin. In the underground parking lot of, lot of the prosecutor's office. Damn it, Lena! No! <laughs> ah! Objection! <laughs> Objection! Shut the fuck up, Lena! You can't! No, Your Honor! The defendant's claim does not change the defendant's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. But, Lena! Stop being stupid! Damn it! <laughs> Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack the prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. But it has sufficiently proven it its case. Your testimony is circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Oh. Well. <laughs> well, so she asked so nicely. Well, family serious. Really is right rep self-representation. Request is legally valid. Oh, this is an unprecedented situation. Ah, whatever. Indeed, there is no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. No! Somebody, okay, now someone needs to come out and go. Someone needs to go, hold it! <laughs> I swear to, okay, nobody here better do it. Nobody better just randomly shout, hold it, in the middle of this fucking verdict. All right, I'm going to do it. I need to slam my gavel, and I'm going to declare my verdict. And I swear to God, if any of you yell hold it at me, I'm going to be really pissed off, all right? Give me some serious beard poking. This can't be happening. Beard time for the verdict is right. Let's go find the defendant. Objection. Damn it! God damn it, Edwin! <laughs> well, technically, I didn't say hold it, so... I <laughs> Fuck you, you, <laughs> you fucking pretentious prick. <laughs> One moment, your honor. <laughs> The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would be certainly be premature. <laughs> Come now, worthy. Don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with me. I understand there's a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep a mouth shut? Hmm? I'll come over there and shut up for you. Oh no, I don't think so, Gantra. Let me wag my little finger at you. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> Create another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Oh, shit. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck, was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everybody operates as you do, worthy. <laughs> See, I operate by still in the fear of God. Still in the fear of Gant. <laughs> I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change his first witness. Oh, damn. Yeah. This first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. And of course the court hears her testimony. Hold it! <laughs> Mr. Edward, I am exercising my right to self-representation. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Skye. <laughs> Get the hell off my get off the hell get the hell off my stand. <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. 
Very well. Let's grant the prosecutor's request. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> okay with you, Will Wright. That's okay with you, right, you can't. <laughs> oh, worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mock my words, motherfucker. Yeah, you will live to regret this. Ah! <laughs> Whatever. Don't don't give a shit. Talk to the big hand. <laughs> Miss Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edward has has decided to take the horse by the reins. Yes. Wait, if that was the bull by the... Oh, whatever. <laughs> now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, m my name is Emma. Emma Sky. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows who the hell this chick is. I mean, she's been here for, like, every fucking trial. <laughs> every every trial of this trial. <laughs> every day of this trial. My occupation, I'm Linda's little sister. I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago... You encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying to my hardest to forget about that, though. Well, too fucking bad, because I... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to have ask you to recall those events one more time. Trevor, please remember this trial, because there's a murder today to go, but what the fuck are you bringing this shit up for? Did I say that was resolved two years ago? Really all that relevant? Tell me! Yes, it, is mo it most certainly is. Oh, well, okay, then. That's right, you know what'll happen if you fuck with me. No, please. Not my other drink of sandwich. No. That's right, you better do what I say, Judge. You sure gave it fist. <laughs> I'm a pussy, what can I say? Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. Whoa. Fade to black. The trip to yesteryear has, uh, has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. I'm bound to do it! Two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil M Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Mm. Oh, I didn't do him. <laughs> it's a good thing you weren't armed. Oh. I passed out. I don't remember much. All right. <laughs> He's like, I don't even. I forgot. I don't even remember what the hell was going on with that trial again. He's the, it has to do with Joe Dark, and he killed a bunch of people. Oh yeah. All right. Now I'm all caught up. <laughs> That's terrible. Howard, please tell Mr. Howard. What does this have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You gotta admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. Fence my biggest cross examination. All right, bring it on, Edgeworth. I'm trying to help you, you fucking idiot. Okay, I was waiting in my sister's office that day. Holy there, Emma! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> it's so much scary on the receiving end of that. I know, I've got a really intense voice. Two years ago, the venom was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes, she was a second in command under Chief Detective Gant. My sister, she was she was the best detective ever. Oh, uh -huh. yes, I remember. She had a sweet ass. Oh. Stare that thing all day. Uh, Judge, Your Honor, I'm I'm still in the room. Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Chief De Chief Detective Gannon, Miss Sky, should be quite a pair. I believe they share the same office. That's right. I always sit up. I'd always sit at my sister's desk and dream about playing that organ. Hey, holy shit! That that organ costs like eight thousand dollars of taxpayer money. <laughs> It was totally worth it, right? You damn right it was. <laughs> How else am I gonna make my entrance and every everything I come into? I wanted to play it that day too. The police department in the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lena promised to take me to, to dinner after she as she fin after she finished her work. Make him running in and took me hostage. Hold it there, Emma. A man? Question mark. Yes, Joe Doc. He was a. A serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Hey, I don't know what's going on! Look at me! Look at me! Contributing! I feel so proud of myself. Yeah. While fleeing the room, Dar Dark had proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been panicked because the elevator was going up. Then he ran to Sky and Gant's, and Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I, I opened the door to have a look. That's what I saw. Him. Mr. Burns. 
Neil Marshall rescued me. Hold it! <laughs> Who's Neil Marshall? What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during the dark's questioning. Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Gant was there too? Huh? Huh? Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Man, that should have been me there. <laughs> even, for, even though I'm not a prosecutor. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, I should have had that award. Look at that thing. Stupid, stupid cowboy. <laughs> Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I said, well, that would also be why I was the first one to run after dark. When Doc grabbed me, I... I thought I was... I thought I was as good as dead. And this when Prosecutor Marshall came running in. I... I don't clearly remember what happened, but... But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. Hold it! Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on the dark just then. The lights went out. The lights? Oh! Oh, God! Are you supposed to see it? It's just about this time of the year. There was a terrible storm going on. Lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm lost again. <laughs> if it was pitch dark in that in the room, you sure not been able to see anything, right? Right. But just then, lightning flashed again outside. But that sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. Mm. I told Detective about what I saw then. Detective. Yes, Detective. Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hold it there. All right, I'm done. <laughs> you can stop there. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes, that's that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw. Yes, but. Hmm. Maybe is that why he died? Then maybe like. He had discovered some truth, Detective Goodman. At the time, the words just just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Mm. Oh yeah, I'm all done. No. This picture of the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. Objection. Excuse me. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Oh, no, I don't like that. What else? Would you mind if we add this statement to your testimony? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Okay, but you're a picture of, the, of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. Ah. Wrong! I'm just gonna go ahead and present it, because... Why the hell not? <laughs> Surprisingly, also on the back of this evidence list here. I uh, don't think so, Emma. Mr. Edgeworth! This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. Ugh. And yet you still insist on denying its existence. Huh? huh? <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad. Hey, hey, I'm not the bad guy. I'm trying to help you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> all I'm saying is that as the pr as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. <laughs> that may well be. David Edgeworth, you always try to fuck up my my day. God damn it! I don't even. <laughs> Why are you mad at me right now? I'm not even. <laughs> But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! <laughs> God damn it! Will you pull your pants back on? Sorry, I mean behold! Does the evidence list of the SLI incident? Blah! Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over. Turn it. Mwah! <laughs> what is this? Oh my God! There's a picture of a dude. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. I don't know, this might be wrong here, but I'm looking at the picture and the, the knife doesn't look sharp. You know, like it looks like it's been broken part like maybe it was already broken when he was holding it in the air. You know, I I don't know. Or if, if the if that'll be something we end up pointing out. Yes, what is that? Hey, that's it! That's the picture I do. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here. Oh look at that. Objection. What's the meaning of this? The fuck did you get that? What are you doing with that that list? Me? I don't know. I just found it. <laughs> internet. <laughs> it's the 90s. Our internet sucks. Don't lie to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. <laughs> huh? All these lists. They're, they're different from it. Never mind, Jolly. Oh! What? What a pair, Mr. Edward. 
Uh, the evidence list you, you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. Behold! You can see the marks here where they were torn apart, torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edward, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only have the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? <laughs> but I'm Edgeworth. I don't make mistakes. Or, thought the picture would have been drawn out on the back of the list. Well, they all do that. That was handed to Detective Goodman in the quest. That was handed to Detective Goodman in the questioning room. Wait a minute. What if this list was torn in half? Then that means, mm, your honor. Oh, you're all right, Mr. Over. Your eyes are falling from your head. <laughs> I'm having a conniption. <laughs> if the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more, more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edwards' list. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Quite conceivable, Mr. Over. Over. Get your list. It's possible. Let's see. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I had a connection to... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong. <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> well, did you see anything? <laughs> nope, nothing at all. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, Your Honor. There's there's something drawn on the back of my list. <laughs> sorry, I was pushing out a... I was pushing out a kidney stone there. I'm good. This is that thing. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! That could it could it possibly be? That's that's that thing. That's the blue bat. <laughs> Gumshoe stands up in the audience. Me out! Of course, the key to everything. The blue badger. I knew it. I knew it was it. <laughs> it was the linking point to everything. That I have been dancing the atmosphere. Apparently, the head of the criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it! I guess he was out of scrap paper. Oh. 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 Wait, what? The evidence list has been updated. Oh, very well. Wait, hold, hold on a second. Does it not form one picture then? Let me look at the. Oh. Uh, okay, so, we're looking at it sideways, looking at it sideways here, what am I seeing? I don't know, I... Oh, maybe... I, I, I don't know, <laughs> I was thinking maybe, maybe, look, we thought it was part of the drawing for, uh, or the blueprint or something, but, I mean, I'm looking at it sideways here, and it doesn't seem to look like anything, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> We're all witness. I'm sure there's probably some significance to it, though, right? It's gotta be. The blue badger hides everything. We were doing such fine picture from two years ago. Huh? Oh, oh, yes, sir. Your Honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something. Something when she saw that picture. Hmm. Maybe the full picture? Or was she talking about the, the drawing of the knife, maybe? I'm thinking the knife is gonna be it important here. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows. After that I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. It's gonna, this is gonna be it. Mm. Oh, I didn't do Where's my hmm? I always go hmm. Think of a flash of lightning and burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't see any contradictions there. It's clear so it's still talking about the murder prosecutor deal marshal. Defense may now begin to cross examination. Go ahead, not. <laughs> Alright, bring it on, Edgeworth. Will you stop that? Okay, six shot you two years ago. Hold it there, Emma. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think I drew it two or three days later. At first I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't couldn't do anything. During that time the detective team was reckon reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge under the direction of Damon Gant and Elena Skye. Two or three days later, the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Oh, excuse me, what else? 
Well, can you please tell, tell us why this picture is painted all, all black? Good. The flashlight was so bright I could see where shadows. Hold it there! So at the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall to come to your rescue. No, I couldn't see him clearly. The, the lighting was so bright. I, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Doc had a tight grip on me, born out when Marshall jumped on him. I was knocked away. I turned around. And that's when and that's when the light the lighting flashed. Hmm. It does look like maybe it could be could be like Damon Gant with this. I, I don't know, but he, he has he does his hairstyle kinda of more matches the the other guys. I, I don't know, maybe not. Poor Emma. I'm glad, glad she wasn't hurt. Well, I was kind of scarred for life, so I don't know about totally unarmed. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have paint fainted. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Objection. Objection, shut the fuck up. The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation in her family caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Shut up, neither am I. Anyway, this this picture. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. Holy! Sorry for asking so many so so many times. But are you sure you're doing exactly what you saw? Of course, it's the exact scene. It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. <laughs> Are you sitting when we somehow manipulating her memory, Mr. Wright? Don't make me come over there, I'll smack you with my big hand. No, no, of course not. I better watch out here, my friend, some way to cut my hand, my, cut my salary. <laughs> cut my hand, uh. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives, so I don't think anyone's story could prevent influence me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well. That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction in here. I knew it. It's the freaking... It's the freaking knife. Maybe this? Yes! This is it. Okay. I need to be the bearer of bad news. But this picture, the, the win is true. Contains a blatant contradiction. What? But, but I still remember just like it was yesterday. Mr. Wright. Perhaps it would be faster if you simply point out this contradiction for, for us. We'll buy the picture. Contrix the autopsy report. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is where the knife comes into play. Wrong knife! Look at this thing. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife in the man, the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see the tip is broken. In fact, you don't even have to look closely to see that. It's a fucking rectangle. Look at that. You can't murder someone with a rectangle. I've tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> I've also tried murdering someone with a circle. It also doesn't work. It can only work with a triangle. I need a triangle. Then the judge's geometry teacher comes out. You did good, judge. Did I do good, Mrs. 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 Pendleton? Yes, you did good. You finally get that A in geometry. You've always won. Yay! I did. I finally graduated the fifth grade. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. You see the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. I recall. The tip of the knife was found broken off of the victim's body. It's an inclusive piece of evidence that proved Duke Joe Doc was a murderer. Blah, blah, blah. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. <laughs> Shut up, Shut up, right? Huh? Where could you possibly see a problem? It's obviously. It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. It was only stabbed once. And the murder weapon should not yet be broken. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. Well, the doodle nugget. I like work. That's right, it put the guy It cut me off. The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. 
That's why I asked her so many times that she was sure she remember correctly. I believe you were you were annoyed at this at the time, but she was she was sure she remember correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Wrong. I don't, not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence. You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that the broken knife might be the base of the evidence that was forged. Forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. 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 <laughs> I am doing a lot of flip outs today. No. Or, or, or. <laughs> Are you saying that case really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. Behold. Right, the police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with David Gatt. Oh yeah, it's me. Hello, it's me, Mr. Burns, and I'm a crazy psychopath. <laughs> And this is my, my, my underling, Smither. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he, he, he accompanies me everywhere, even in hostage situations. <laughs> oh, yep, it's true. <laughs> James questioning Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. Or was he? It's my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Uh, uh, I, I'm not lying. The man really was holding a broken knife. Holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not this could not have been an actual murder not have been the actual murder weapon. Ugh! Yes! There must have been another broken knife. Well no chance of there being two broken knives, seriously, the fuck? What the freaking pretty fuck? Another broken knife besides Joe Darks? Could there have been one? Uh <laughs> you're totally wrong, Emma. The if the witness is adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple ob observational error. Mr. Wright. Mm. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume when. Now you have some information about this other broken knife. And so please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. Uh... Edgeworth's knife? No. What? Oh! This! This better fucking be it. That knife there? In the armor? Yes! Oh man, I was driving. I, I didn't even notice that fucking thing in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you want from me, gang? I don't know what you want. <laughs> There's were lies in the past, two years in the past. Right here inside the picture. Behold! This is a picture of... Uh, picture, this is a picture of the awards ceremony. Hey, ah! <laughs> Why are you screaming? What is it, Mr. Edward? It's the, the broken murder weapon. Notice the award marshal prosecutor. Prosecutor marshal is holding. That's a broken knife! As we are included, the knife in the picture was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was not like this ward. Uh oh. Or, or, or. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't right there either. Uh, I picked that picture for the wrong reasons. I thought it was the pointy knife of the the suit of armor on the right there, not the not from the actual trophy. Okay, okay, I got it. Or, or, or. New Marshal was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. That's why that that's why that got removed the the from the trophy. That's why Damon Gant had that shit removed. He was like, hell no, I'm not getting this shit traced back to me. <laughs> Mr. Ward, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. We chased after door dark, he pulled out it, pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. His broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. But that that can't be. No, no. <laughs> oh, why not, Mr. Edward? 
Because the king of prosecutors awarded knife was the murder weapon, then the murder and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... The man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. <laughs> the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What the Verdi Battles is going on here? No, my little brother. But maybe he was then. It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to just jump to conclusions. And then Gant came up behind him and stabbed him in the back or something, right? What? Who said that? Was it me? Hold it! Wait! I remember now! I remember everything! Oh, where does all about fucking time? Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, what is, what is it? Could show me your evidence list again, please? His list? Oh, well, with the, the picture scroll on the back. A blue badger! I knew it! This picture. I'm, I'm the one who drew it. <laughs> what? Yes, I knew it, it. Okay, I had a feeling that would be like something she drew, but I'm a little unsure exactly what it's supposed to be. You drew, you drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew drew this picture. Oh, Sam Bevan is trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if. We have this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what happened? Will you recall, Mr. Sky? Yes, Your Honor. Where's the knife mixed up in? No! The Blue Badger! The Blue Badger! <laughs> this should be interesting. Yes, I knew it. The Blue Badger is the real killer. That was recollection. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and I rushed toward, toward both of them. I think I knocked away the, the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash of lightning. And that's what I, that's what I saw. The blue badger. <laughs> the blue badger. <laughs> Shut up, Detective, detective Gumshoe. Sorry. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. What? <laughs> this is certainly most unusual. The fuck? The blue badger didn't even exist, did it? Objection. Uh, objection. Try, try impossible. <laughs> The head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Oh my god. Time paradox! <laughs> it's obvious It's obvious what it means. It means the blue batter <laughs> invented to time travel and travel to the past to save Neil Marshall. <laughs> oh blue badger, you're always seeking justice everywhere you go. Everywhere <laughs> Yes, well, French Mayor Abigan. Hold it, stop! Please, don't pursue this any further! Whoa! New pose! I've never seen her look like that before. Lena, how, how'd you get up there? Where'd Emma go? <laughs> get out of the way, Emma! <laughs> <laughs> she, like, pushes her down. What? What's the man? Put your man sitting in the fast chair. Get, her, get in your seat over there! But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Do you prosecute Sky? We've already come to the, come this far. It's too late to turn back. Ah, Charlotte! Charlotte! <laughs> Defense will now begin to cross examination. Get the crap out my stand, you freaking dirty whore. <laughs> fuck you, Judge. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you giant sexy, <laughs> you sexy lady. <laughs> Stop hitting on me. Sorry. Marilyn, please stay the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the core of the matter. The apple core of the matter. All right, bring it on, it's worth. I swear to God. I saw him. I saw that man raise his knife. Hold it! <laughs> what next? <laughs> when you say that man, I assume you're referring to Joe Dark. Yes. At least I think it, I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The powers that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's report, office reports. Well, then you. I panicked and rushed both of them. Why would you do something so dangerous? Because I'm fucking crazy, baby! What else? What else could I have done? He was about to, s to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Ark was the one holding the knife. But as we just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one hold was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When that dark guy was kn knocked me down, 
All I can think of is I've, I've got to help Mr. Marshall. Where'd it go? Because you need a Marshall is dead. <laughs> Damn it! I, I think I knocked away the man with the knife. Hold it! What do you mean, you think? It, it all happened so fast. And I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. But I did. It's, it's all kind of a blur. In a matter of just a few seconds, Miss Sky was almost killed. Then she then she witnessed a murder about to take place. A little disorientation is only natural. Hell, I did. Hell, I thought I killed my father for like, what, 20 some years? <laughs> I saw the man who was about to stab the other person, who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew how to stop the man with the knife. What you do is very brave, young girl. Very stupid. <laughs> so then, what happened next? Just then, there was another flash of lightning, and that was when I saw the blue badger! Hold it! What do you mean, blue badger? Are you sure about this? Of course. See? I even drew a picture of him here. Behold! I'm trying to see, is it supposed to look like something? I just, I don't see it. But, the head detective of criminal affairs thought up this hideous beast. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! And that was just this year. Actually, no, it, it, he's not the head detective. But, uh, I don't think he is, right? Blue Badger, they had the Blue Badger mascot, but I, I, he didn't make like the little, little, uh, cardboard cut out of him until later, I think. Blue Badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at little Blue Badger doing his little annoying dance. Now I finally remember. Oh, brother. Just when you thought that things had caused enough commotion. Carlos, where in the room do you see him dancing? <laughs> doing his little Blue Badger dance. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw a shadow. Hold it there! A shadow? So you mean you... You didn't actually see his face with with his winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. <laughs> this is pointless. That thing couldn't, couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. <laughs> the blue badger lives to... <laughs> Lives on! <laughs> it lives inside all of us, waiting, waiting to strike, waiting to kill! <laughs> I don't know, is it supposed to be like Gant or something? Like, it's like my, it's my big spike of hair or something, maybe. I, I don't know. But it was, it's like it showed up above them, right? I mean, that's what that picture's supposed to show, right? I don't know. The witness must be mistaken. They may well be. Who was the murderer? What caused everything she saw? What she did? Oh, and I suppose you have an ex explanation. And so, the, by all by all means, tell us what this shadow really was. What was it? A moose? Oh, when the light? Oh, fuck! Who is this blue badger really? It was obviously the new gumshoe. Oh, you got me! I'm the killer. Ah! <laughs> the urn? I don't think so. Sort of shaped like it, but not really. Uh. Blue Badger hadn't even been dreamed up when, when Emma drew this picture. She certain, she, and yeah, yeah, she certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is defense's belief that one that, that fabled day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the Blue Badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Oh. Is it supposed to be Gant? I don't... <gasps> Mr. Wright! In this room. Very well, Mr. Wright. It, it was you, Judge. Oh, no. Your beard is strangely shaped like the Blue Badger. No, you're right. I used to have little pointy on ends on the side here. Damn it, you've caught me red-handed. But I'm not going down without a fight. Ah! <laughs> now, Super Judge Power. Turkey sandwich power. He starts shooting turkey out of his, out of his, hand, out of his palms. Oh, my God. Ah! Well, my... My, my delicious wrath! No! No! It's just too much turkey. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I am the lord of all turkey! Where's the winner saw this? Where's the shoulder mystery blue badger look alike? Is it, is it supposed to be this? I mean, I guess sort of sideways it could kind of look like that. 
Sir's Blue Badger was in fact this. Oh my God, it was really. <laughs> you know, I kind of jokingly said it earlier, but like, I guess it could kind of look like it, but it's like that's like a lot. I don't know. It's a lot longer in the center there. What? Or what? What exactly is that? <laughs> Grab my glasses. I believe some sort of jar with blood on it. But oh, Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the Blue Badger. Oh. 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 Perspective. Fucking perspective. That's what it is. Indeed, it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if I were to change our viewpoint? Of course. Our viewpoint. Gotta show them. Correct name to look at this. Look at this from. I see. <laughs> look at the blue badger doing his stupid dance. Ah, there it is. Woo! Behold our evil demon badger. Yes! Ah, uh, wow, that's that. That's pretty clever. Well, is this a miracle or what? Seriously, look at this. Sh that is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, the blue badger the whole time. It's, it's been right in my hands to think. <laughs> How can I not have seen you, blue badger? <laughs> the birth of you. Oh god, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in my house and worship you like a god. Like a god! <laughs> is this a miracle or what? Ha, <laughs> that's so, that's so cool. That, that is clever. That is very clever. No one can possibly deny the resemblance to the Blue Badger. Or his stupid little dance. No. It can't be! <laughs> no, no, no! Order! 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 And the fruit is clay. Mysterious Blue Badger witness on the day of the crime was actually this. Although we all enjoy Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. The fuck was that? <laughs> what? What's your point? What do you mean? Obviously, this solves the case. We're all good. I think we're... Obviously, later, I guess I can go free now. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yes, yeah, so we're all hunky-dory here. la dee da -dee. No, you idiot! <laughs> so that badger thing was actually just a jar f flying through the air, I guess. I, I, maybe it was tossed in the air. That doesn't change anything. Blah, blah, blah. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Indeed, very well then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? The murder weapon, maybe? Because, I don't know, the location, I mean, I, I guess she was lying on her side, that's what she saw. But that's after she like passed out or whatever, collapsed to the floor. Right, and the but it shows that the, the vase was not sitting up; it was flying through the air. Right, not the murderer, but the murder weapon. Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. Not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? <laughs> Location of the jar is shown in the picture taken on the day of the crime. The shelf in the office of Damon Gint. But the body was found lying near Lena Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Yes, and it is these two facts that reveal what exactly transpired. Wait a minute, what? Did I Did I pick were they like all the right thing all the right answer or something? You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lena Sky's office. Head up to the other side of the room in Chief Gant's office. When playing the murder, remove the victim's body. Oh, okay. So I guess so. This implies all. Okay, I guess all three. <laughs> all three of them would have been the right answer. From Damon Gant's office to Lena Sky's office. Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. Blah. blah. Exactly. If there wasn't a reason. He wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? I have no idea. I have just no freaking clue. I don't... This is it. The moment of truth. I finally figured it out. 
So this is why Leno tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. I'm freaking ace. I am freaking- wait, I'm not ace attorney. <laughs> That's not right. That's the name of this game. I know, I'm that other guy. I'm that other guy in the title. Mm, what is that thing again? Uh, start with a P, ends with a W. Mmm, uh, <laughs> Mr. Ryder, are you okay? Shut up, I'm trying to remember my name. Mmm, mmm, oh, right, wait, what did you say? <laughs> right, right, what? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> who's right? Oh, I'm right, I'm right, <laughs> I'm always right. Wait, no, that's also my name, I'm right too. <laughs> I've got a bird on my head, wait, no. Please recall the witness's testimony. She says she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me. What could have sent the jar flying? That would have to have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. If the man was knocked into the direction of the, sh of the shelf the jar was sitting on, what would he have hit? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Oh. How about the big pointy stick? <laughs> that was right then. Yay! I was okay. I wasn't total. That wasn't totally ridiculous then. Yay! A suit of armor with the pointy stick, or like a very sharp, dangerous looking sword. <laughs> Doll. <Don't. laughs> yes, I did actually play a part in it. That's good. I felt really stupid earlier when I was like pointing that out. Yes. And when the man who was knocked in the air with armor was carrying a broken knife. It would have to have been Neil Marshall wielding the prosecutor's award. That's like a stab in the back. No. Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes. There's no possibility what actually transpired in that room. Another possibility. Of course, the perpetrator would have had no idea, but it, nevertheless. I, I don't know if I can go through with this. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. At that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. She accidentally killed him. Oh. Oh, God. Um. Well. You mean Mr. Marshall died because of me? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> No! No! Oh! Ow! Oops. <laughs> Way to go, right? I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was a witness who took the victim's life. Way to go, dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, judge. No, fuck you. I'll poke you in my pony beard. And then prove so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented! Is it? Oh my god, we're not gonna like arrest her now, are we? Oh, uh, I see. What, what are you saying? That's why she didn't want to tell anybody. Sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances... Joe Doc murdered Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was... think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that, coming from you. If you recall, it was you who have been to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you suck! I hate you! If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my, my sister killed Neil Marshall? Evidence? I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes. Certainly wouldn't be difficult to prove this with, with evidence. Oh, man. Do we want to prove it anymore? It's like... I feel like... This isn't, this isn't leading to Damon Gant like I thought it would. <laughs> I feel like we're just making things a lot worse. Maybe we should just stop now. We don't have evidence. Then we'll have to rely on the te on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. Or can we? Thanks to my new invention. The identifier, or something along those lines. <laughs> it's all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. Oh, wag my little finger. Well, I guess we can we examine the 
the suit of armor? Is it still there? It's, I guess it's not there anymore. Hmm, <laughs> touché, Miss Sky. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. You mean there's still another possibility? No. What do you mean, Mr. Edwards? There's a what's going on. I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left, be left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. That's... that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, it's the only possibility left for you. A message from the deceased. A message from message like this. Why are you asking me? Why don't you ask Edward who brought it up? I've got a thing back to the court record. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind. Would that be the vase, maybe? Like, the, the blood on the vase? Oh, I bet that is it. Maybe. <laughs> it is, maybe. Maybe, like, back when it was in pieces still, this had a name on it, right? Because it was broken, so maybe he took the pieces, and then he, like, rid rid wrote on it in blood. That's gotta be it. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murder? Oh, wag my finger. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Our purpose is not, accuse, is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There's only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Now, Mr. Wright, we show us a piece of evidence. Where's the message from the deceased? Go around now! Alright, bud, good, dig it. This thing! The message led by the deceased. This is what a blue bagger. What is a blue bagger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? <laughs> if that thing if if that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> oh, yes, the killer is! You, Edgeworth! Wait, what the fuck? You kill him! Kill the infidel! <gasps> no, you bastard, die! No! Let him go! He's strangling me! Stop that! Stop murdering the blue badger! No! You will not kill my creation! Edward, you will die! <laughs> this is get This is getting bananas! Get away from me, gumshoe, you crazy fuck! Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. A badger was left here, on the surface of this jar. What are you, mate? If you look closely... You can see a freight trail of blood on this jar. Looks like someone wiped wiped the blood away. Ah. Yes, but notice. For some reason, the blood and some of the fragments were not wiped away. Yes, there's a line here. Draw the blood. What the hell is that? So what you're saying is that these dots were once lines. Oh. I'm going to connect the dots, aren't I? Rescue Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments left him to left him to leave a dying message. One that someone apparently wiped away, but blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Ah. Uh. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And the victim's name will become apparent. No, no. Right. Got a message to the leave that can play for us. Your Honor. I believe these blessings reveal to us the answer. I connect the... Connect the dots and make letters. So one thing, there's only one thing the victim would have written, given the circumstances. The murderer's name! Hmm, okay, well, I guess it, it looks like it could be Emma, but I... I feel like it's supposed to be Gant, right? Right? No? Oh, come on! Well, uh, is it really? <laughs> Emma, you killed me, you bastard. Present! Behold! Way to go, Emma, you murdering bastard! Is it a Vincent Ernie's duty to prove his client's innocence? That's well, I've been thinking about it, save saving Elena. After all my efforts, I never thought it would it would turn out like this! Seriously, the hell? Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Oops. <laughs> You're welcome, I totally saved you, Lena. 
Fuck you! Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Where the hell did she go anyway? Oh, she's lying on the floor still. Ah, damn. Uh, see where the can I say? Can I can't say I didn't warn you. Ah, 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 Chief Gant. Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Doc was sentenced to death. He was sentenced to die. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the case, were you not? Oh fucking fuck! I just shot myself in the foot, didn't I? Fucking die! Oh. Yes, worthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I still evil then? I, I don't understand. Wait, is he like trying to protect her this whole time? I don't understand what's... What is happening right now? This shit doesn't make any sense. Because of you! An innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. Oh god, he... God, god. <laughs> but your dog really was a serial murder. That's undeniable. Oh, look at my pony here. I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know, we are defendants of justice. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not an East Attorney. <laughs> We're merely keepers of, the, keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery, ultimately the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. Seriously, dude? Seriously, bro? You're going to... You gonna hurt a, hurt a brother like that? You damn right I am. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. Dude, he's got some fucking vendetta against Edgeworth. Wait, was he playing this from the start? What's going on in the prosecutor's office? They better send an innocent man to his death. How could he just stand there like it was, like it wasn't his fault? <laughs> Oh God, call an ambulance. The guy was pounding felt on deaf ears. And we had to settle the crowd that the judge declared a recess. Play go, I'm gonna go play on the jungle drums. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. To be continued. 